All right, so I am still in Wisconsin, and if you didn't watch the last vlog, I'll do a little update for you. I am in the beautiful state of Wisconsin right now. It is currently, yep, this is actually the best it's been in a while. The last few days, like the highs were in the single digits. Uh, very, very cold. Um, but the reason I am here uh, is actually, I talked about this a little in the last vlog, but I will restate it. I wanted to leave California because California is one of the most locked down states um, currently. And it was really just kind of affecting my mental health, my attitude towards everything. And I just needed some change. Everything was seeming like every day felt the same. Weekends didn't really feel like a weekend anymore. And because when you're working where you also relax, for like me, it was in my room, it kind of becomes this weird area of like, okay, when I'm not working, I still feel like I'm in that work atmosphere. So things just, yeah, everything gets kind of like intertwined with themselves and days just feel the same. And so I decided to try to fix that instead of just moping around and being sorry for myself. I drove 30 hours from California to uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So the original plan was to be here for, I would say a month, which I'm basically, it's been over a month, it's been five weeks. About a week ago, I planned out that I was going to leave for Texas in two days. And now that has been delayed a week, um, basically to wait out this whole winter vortex that's rolled through the Midwest as well as the South. I know Texas is just um, a lot of places are out of power. It's freezing down there. Yeah, so just to wait that out, I've decided to push it back a week. I've checked out the, the weather and everything and also talking to Kelly and Caitlin, my two sisters that live down there, who I'm going to go visit. They also agreed that, hey, it's just better if you wait a week, um, wait till it gets a little warmer. So I agreed. So this day has been extended for one week. I'm excited. It has been, as I said, very cold here in Wisconsin. I'm excited for warmer temperatures. It's supposed to be in the mid 50s, lower 60s. We'll see. That'll just feel like sunny in 75. It'll just, it'll. So I have a week and two days. I'm either driving down Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't actually made up my mind on that. Next part of this video will be training and I will see you at the gym. Oh, and it'll be at Brew City, of course, being in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I love the gym, it's freaking massive. Uh, it's where I went uh, to CrossFit for all four years of college. I love the atmosphere, the owners are great, the people there are great. Uh, it's just, it's always a good time. So, we're gonna pop over there now. All right, we got, we're starting off with heavy cleans and then we're just rolling the dice from there. Not really sure what we're doing, but some heavy cleans, maybe work up to a PR. My PR is not that good, it's only like 325, so maybe I'll get past that. All right. Let's do it. Are you busy right now? I am not busy right this now. This is Mike. You've never been on the vlog before. Never. Well, no, I was on the uh, the workout or the competition. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, everybody, was... this is Mike. He's a stud. What's up, guys? Yeah, What's the background on Mike? Give, give us the 411 on you. Uh, I'm 30 years old, about to be 31. I've got three kids, an eight-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-month-year-old. Married, I've uh, been doing CrossFit for over 11 years, coaching for about seven of those. Um, I just like to work out. There you go. Yeah, appreciate Thank it, man. I was slinging through the hallways, doing shit the hard way, just to get a name up on a board like I'm all state, all day like Kanye when I was in the eighth grade. College dropout banging loud enough to hear an A stakes. Through my iPod classic, my life I saw a match and high life with all the magic. Unlike a Miller can, hip hop never go and pop unless it's with a filter man. Built the damn like the Angry Beaver cereal. I was sitting there. What I got though, pull it up like a poncho No milk, but I got flow More than heat, no Alonzo Whiskey neat, defending my faded like Devin Broncos We can made it, some ladies couple lines like the Congo Can I get on though, like a salad with avocado Pogasso, I'm getting follows for painting a couple tracks with some thought, yo Most of the internet can mess with what I'm on though We got dreams, we got plans yeah. 280 went up pretty easy Started at 275 this one, ending at 285. Keep going. I never thought you'd see me strutting in his good. Yeah, maybe I'm free. All this baggage I got in my back. Oh, you know that wouldn't be me, so I'm gonna count my. I've been going crazy. 
crazy. Driving even matched by a Mercedes. 290 that time. Still pretty good. Hit 305 this time, and then we'll play around with some PR numbers. Dating thought she could have had a baby. Frankly, knew a lady kept me safe from mistakes. She began it like pastry. Was raised as a chicken, now we keep it cage free. Look what you made me. Look what you hate. G plastic dreams on TV, but we still get an HD. Got finance coming like I'm State Street. Uh. Swear I'm twisted like iced tea with a tongue tied that got me missing like Spike Lee. <laughs> All right, hit 320. I think 325 is my PR. So we put 330 on the bar. 320 went up pretty good. So let's hit a PR. Definitely never hit 330 before. <laughs> There you go, 3.30 PR, it's money. This is Jake, a uh, long time friend. When I first started CrossFit, I sucked at weightlifting. I could barely, like, I was literally known as Skinny Waist Connor, and I couldn't even clean 225, and I started going to Milwaukee Barbell, and that's where I met Jake. And Jake just like, tips after tips, help after help, like made me be able to do that kind of shit, like 3.30 clean, so. Yeah, and he's just an awesome, awesome human being, and I'm just gonna make him blush and make him feel awkward right here. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> you want to give everyone like a little background? So I'm a demand planner for a living. So basically, I'm in a glorified Excel monkey. But um, I actually run the barbell club as a hobby. I picked it up a couple of years ago, and like Nate and I kind of just run the club, and it's it's a passion project for me. Um, been lifting since uh, 2015, and uh, still enjoy it, love it, and still trying to grow the club and just. Hang out with fun people. There's Jake, he's awesome. <laughs> all right, all the exciting lifting is over. Now to do everything I suck at that I need to do more of. An AM ramp, a lot of reps of a lot of things. Uh, you saw it, so let's get it done. Where I'm twisted like ice tea with a tongue tied that got me missing like Spike Lee. And I might be a cone head cold as some ice cream. Alarm going off, keep me out of this ice cream. I'm waking up every day, nine to five on a pipe dream. I mean, we can't let go of all the nice dreams. Getting closer like the dude up in the pine trees. Have the Bataki, I'm wacky. That's a really messed up rhyme scheme. Yeah. We got dreams, we got plans, yeah. And I got my fam, we got I got in my back, oh, you know that wouldn't be me, so I'm gonna count my blessings, blessings. Training's done. It was a good day. S solid, clean PR. Can't be upset with that. Actually, you can be really happy about that, as I am. Still, uh, Metcon was kind of a meh. I don't know what's going on with my knee. We've been squatting a lot. We've been lifting a lot. A lot of Metcons. Do want to go overkill today because we're gonna hit to uh, Saturday, my favorite day to work out. Tomorrow hard. Maybe like two and a half hours in the gym tomorrow. It'll be a good day. This video is over. I will see you for the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>